I'd like a room for two, please. I'm sorry, but you can't bring pets into the hotel. It's not a pet. It's my wife. You're married to a sheep. Yeah, you got a problem with that? Who you choose to marry or not to marry is no concern of mine, sir. Damn right. It's just that this hotel is forbidden under the law to allow animals into the room. What do you think human beings are? We're all animals. Yeah, but... But nothing. Just because we choose to walk around on two legs and take tea at 11 and use B-days and all that la di -da stuff doesn't change the fact that not so long ago on the cosmic timeline we were swinging around in the trees in Africa with our monkey cousins. Now, don't tell me that my wife can't enjoy a quiet holiday in a quality hotel purely because she's got cloven hooves and likes to munch on the odd blade of grass! So your wife is taking a dump? <laughs> so you're telling me you don't? Sorry, sir, I'm going to have to call my supervisor. I was just going to suggest the same thing. Jane? Hi, it's Kirsty. Could you come out here for a moment, please? Jane, I didn't know you were working here. Long time, no <laughs> see. Settle, honey. We're just friends. <laughs> you look nice. Take a look at the bill, sir, and confirm that all the uh, charges to your room are correct. Thanks. Oh, no, 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 no. These items aren't meant to be here. Uh, the videos? Mm. I didn't watch any videos. So you didn't watch Rump Busters or Anal High 3? I most certainly did not. That's not what it says here, sir. Well, I emphatically deny that I watched any pornographic videos, and I resent the fact that you're suggesting that I did. Oh, no, 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 I... Sorry, my mistake. I know what's probably happened. Those hookers that I had in for the night, they must have started watching them after I passed out. <laughs> that will explain it, sir. Mm, sneaky hoes. You can't trust them. No. I'd like to check out, thanks, room 402. 402? Mr Doyle, one night, did you enjoy your stay? Yeah, it's fine, thanks. Well, that's $140, but your employer seems to be paying for that, although sundries aren't included. Anything from the minibar? Um... <laughs> no. Okay, well, that all seems to be taken care of. Thanks for staying with us. Have a safe trip home. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> Good afternoon. Uh, we've got a double room booked in the name of Dawkins. Mr and Mrs Dawkins? That's right. So you're married then? Yes, have been for six years. May I see some proof, please? Proof? Yes, ideally a marriage certificate and some bills in joint names. Why? I need to know you're married before I rent you the room. That's not a legal requirement. No, it's a moral requirement. Since when? In my religion, we have strong objections to fornication before marriage. Well, I hardly think that's any of your business. Oh, I think it's very much my business if I get sent to hell for all eternity because I aided and abetted an unholy union. We're married. Same name on the credit card, same name on the driver's licence. How do I know you're not brother and sister? Do we look alike? Could be adopted. <laughs> okay. A wedding photo in my wallet. Happy? All right. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. How generous. Will you be fornicating? <laughs> yes. We will be fornicating. Will either of you be using contraception? Oh, come on. The church strictly forbids it. I must know, otherwise I'll burn in hell. Well, for your consolation, no, we won't be using contraception. Because I'm infertile. Happy now? Are you infertile because of God's will or did you have a vasectomy? I was born that way. Okay. So you can still get an erection, it's just that you're shooting blanks, is that yes. right? Yes. Okay, I can accept that. I'm so glad. What time will you be fornicating? Oh, what? Don't tell me. Your religion dictates that there's certain times of the day that we can and can't do it? No. I just wanted to come and watch. <laughs> no. Come on. Hi, how may I help you? Um, I stayed here last week and I think I may have left my alarm clock behind. Right, what room was that? 23. And can you describe the clock for me? Mm-hmm. It was pink and it was about seven inches long with ridges on the side of it. I think we may have that for you. Uh, is this your alarm clock? Of assistance. Uh, 
Hi, how may I help you? I was here the other day and I think I might have left my earrings behind. They belong to my mother, so I really want to get them back. Sure. Can you describe them for me? They were black. Um, they were about 12 inches long. They had thick, veiny looking things down the side and um, big dangling things. Alright, let's have a look. Is this them? Yes, that's them, thank you. No trouble, you'd be surprised how often it happens. <laughs> Morning, sir. Checking out, if you don't mind. Uh, the boys wanted you to know they had a smashing time in this joint. Oh, we know, sir. They kept the entire top floor awake until 5 a.m. <laughs> they do like to blow off a bit of steam after a gig. Well, that's musicians for you, innit? Any in house movies? Uh, Mick kicked in the television just after we got here, so uh, let's put that on the bill. Any minibar? Oh, it's in the pool. Yeah, so I suppose I owe you for that too. Oh, and um, <clears throat> you might want to order a new toilet for 702. Trust me. OK, here's your bill, sir. We have ten bottles of Moe, five bottles of Jack Daniels, one plasma television, one minibar fridge and one toilet. Oh, and someone ordered everything off the room service menu at 3am. Yeah, that was Keith. Stupid bastard passed out drunk before it even arrived. If you could just sign here, sir. Cheers, love. Wonderful. We look forward to seeing you and the Salvation Army Band again soon. All right, yeah. Hey, now, did you have anything from the minibar? No. You sure you didn't have anything from the minibar last night? OK. So I drank the whole lot. Checking out today? Yeah, thank you. Room 207. How'd you enjoy your stay with us? Yeah, it was very nice. Thanks. There's a room service, a mini bar, three phone calls, and two in room movies. Now, is that on your visa? Uh, yeah, thank you. That'd oh, be great. No, hang on. Two movies? We only watched one movie. It's okay. Just put it on the card. Uh, we're not paying for a movie we didn't watch. Uh, I can assure you, madam, both movies were ordered by your room. Honey, no need to cause a scene. Yeah. What were the movies? Um, Harry Potter 5, The Order of the Phoenix, and Sorority Sluts 4. <laughs> I got it when you were in your meeting, so... I don't believe this. It appears that my husband likes to watch children's movies about wizards and magic owls whenever I turn my back. Harry Potter? How old are you? You're sick. 